I met with a psychiatrist today for the first time in many years and I was so afraid. The psychiatrist is an aged wo woman and uh, she's extremely capable and um, I don't know exactly what her instructions for me were. I feel like she was gathering information, although I also feel that she had researched me beforehand. <coughs> She was very disarming um, and for more innocent people being disarming is not necessarily a good thing. So I told as much truth as I was capable of. And she gave me space to speak easily. She prescribed me a drug. And before, during the introductions, I told her I believed a psychiatrist giving someone a drug is a portal to a detention center of some kind, whether it be a hospital or a prison. So I took her prescription for the drug and my mom got the drug filled. And I took the drug and uh, it was a genuine drug. I'm not sure I could articulate um, the effect it had on me. One thing I have theorized from previous hospital visits um, is they put you under a lot of stress and then they give you a tablet and then they remove the stress. Um, so that may be true. Although I still, I don't feel doped. I feel less anguish, although it is a chemical drug that is causing this sensation. And um, with respect to Mark Mar Marin, and I believe he was interviewing Jay Moore the podcast is called WTF. There was a story about Alcoholics Anonymous. And I believe Jay Moore was expressing sympathy for alcoholics who also had to wrestle with the issue of prescription drugs in the same way overeaters have to wrestle with the fact that they need food to live. I said at one point 
before we met privately, the doctor and I, that I hope my words and paranoias don't become manifest, although I am still filled with fear that my uh, releases of anxiety onto the internet um, will come back to haunt me. Um, if you are watching this and the date on the video is um, a date from the past, I plead with you When I was releasing delusional thoughts into the atmosphere of I don't know what you call the synthesis of the internet and um, the old term real life releasing those anxieties I hope if you are watching this in the future and you are angry at me, please realize we all suffer from anxiety in some form or another and try not to punish people for their anxiety. I am trying to be repentant. I have no solid religious support to lean on. I think I believe in a higher power and there's something my dad showed me on his iPad. It's about, it was a comedy sketch about a corporation who does wh what it wants and as a result the people subordinate to the corpor corporation um, rebel and punish the corporation Please realize I'm on government assistance, and yes, I have strong supportive parents and a strong supportive um, medical team. And I do try to follow the rules laid before me. But there comes a point when anxiety needs to be released. 
Now, to tie the concept of karma with anxiety, I do not think you should karmically punish an anxious person and since I found a belief in a higher power um, I feel sympathy for organizations which I had previously demonized. Now, with respect to the community of people who suffer from mental illness and struggle against what I know is barbaric treatment. I still support that struggle. To be a bourgeois communist, I would say I have bought my father a book which in my estimation, keep in mind I haven't read the book, is a powerful book on anti-psychiatry. But like all swords, all medieval swords. I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is swords have two edges. So I bought my father some books which I think, I hope, will help him understand my struggle. I find it difficult to speak with my father. Um, he is very pleasant, but when I get to a sensitive area of conversation, he wishes silence, and I wish to honor him because I do not want to add to her, his burden. So this has been very long and rambly, and um, I'll end with at the end of the psychiatrist appointment today. She mentioned I was a comedian and said I should do more comedy shows. And I am really not feeling very funny right now. Um, it's okay if you're watching this and laughing because I can't see you so I give you permission to laugh. And to wrap things up, with the tradition of lightheartedness, I will crush a can. Thank you.
to everyone who has helped me. Thank you to those who I have hated and misunderstood barbaric treatment as something to build strength in myself. Although muscularly I feel very weak right now. I have hope for the future that I will feel better because in the patterns of life, in the patterns of my life, if you want to label me bipolar, I feel bad and I feel good. <laughs>